Hey, so here's a quick review of structuralism in case you missed it. So, structuralism begins late 1800s. The guy is named Wilhelm Wundt, all right? Now, Wundt's structuralism was attempting to pull data on human consciousness, okay? What's it mean to be conscious, thinking, functioning? Okay, so we're worried about what's going on in here. But he wanted to be like other sciences, like a physics or a chemistry where we have rules and laws. And so he wanted to have objective data. To Wundt, it was very important that we leave out emotion and interpretation, which we would call subjective data. And we focus on raw data, numbers, information that's coming in. Now, the way that Wundt wanted you to collect this was through a process he called introspection. Look into your own mind, determine what's going on, and give me exactly the sensory stimulus that you're reaching. In class, in order to get this and to teach it, we looked at images of uh, some puppies and an apple, um, some rangali. We looked at that art um, that some people had uh, a background with and some people did not. And I think that kind of showed us that we all have different experiences. So even when we're looking at the exact same stimuli, when we're looking at the exact same uh, image, we can interpret it differently based on our experiences. Okay, so that's something that's super important that we need to be able to address. So again, your experiences shape this, so maybe the whole human consciousness and experience is in fact subjective. We're going to talk about some ways throughout this class that experiments and data collection can be shaped to try and make what might be subjective data collection more objective. But it's definitely important that we have someone trying to address that early in the field of psychology and take some of those other things out of it. Obviously, structuralism had some struggles um, because often the data that was received was subjective and even after years of training people in introspection, it was very difficult to get the same responses from all of them, showing some of the difficulties in psychology as a field of leaving out the subjective. So it's important that we know structuralism is a concept, okay? They're trying to analyze and break down consciousness into its component parts through introspection to collect objective data, just evidence, no interpretation, and get rid of the subjective. If we understand that and the fact that it was difficult and not necessarily successful, then we've got what we need.